What's up guys, Izzy from Endless RV, and in today's video, we're gonna be bringing you our 12 favorite RV products. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. We're going away, get your back, check the tag, decision is made, lock your door, need no more, it's already paid, cancel your mail for a while, it's a journey. So guys, we are inside the Endless RVing Mothership, the headquarters, the uh, home on wheels, okay? So the lighting may not be as great as you want it to be, but we gotta do with what we gotta do, okay? So the items we're gonna show you are our 12 favorite items. They're not essential items, they're not items that every uh, RV newbie should have. It's just some of our favorite items, okay? So without further ado, let's get into it. You're gonna see me looking down from time to time on my pad. If you guys know anything about me, you know I can't remember anything, so I'm gonna be looking at the pad. Number one, Rand McNally GPS, okay? Um, so if anybody's not familiar, this is a Rand McNally GPS. We got this as an option from the factory. They also sell these um, as tablet form that you can buy aftermarket. Also, Garmin makes a specific, uh, a specific RV um, GPS. Now, why would you want a specific RV GPS? Well, the main reason is, the reason why we got the Ram McNally is our ability to not have surprises going down the road. And what I mean about that is with this system, you can actually input your rig's height, width, weight, how many axles, if you're carrying propane, how many tanks of uh, propane you're carrying, how, much, how many pounds that propane is, um, and et cetera, et cetera. So essentially, the GPS should, and so far it has, not take you down any roads. It's gonna route the route for you, um, map the route for you, to take you to road on roads that you shouldn't have an issue with. And so far, uh, we're almost 7,000 miles in, and it hasn't been an issue. So let me just show you one quick feature. It works like any other GPS. You choose your destination, uh, state, city, address, yada, yada, yada. That works normally, okay? Um, on this version, there is not a, a live traffic, but what we do is we also incorporate that with Waze or Google Maps. So if the route kind of looks the same, uh, if we need to reroute somewhere, we usually stick with the, uh, the Ram McNally, but just as a backup, we have either Google or Waze on our cell phone. Okay, so let me just show you one quick feature of why I like this, where I talked about inputting the size and weight. And MJ, if you can get down in here. So this is the main menu here. You can see you have three different features. You have the RV tools, the to go to map. That will be obviously when you have your uh, route uh, input and then choose your destination if you want to input a route. So I'm just gonna go to the RV tools, click on that. And then I'm gonna click over here. And here's where you can see uh, what I was talking about with the specifics of, in this case, our uh, rig. So we have a class A uh, riding style. You have um, bottles of propane. We have one size of each. It's a 28 pounder. So I put a, a 30 pound, actually, I'm sorry. It's a hundred pounder. I need to change that. Uh, and then the weight of our vehicle, height, width, number of axles. You put that in, um, you can back it up. You put that in and it's gonna route you down the roads that they know, that the GPS knows you're gonna be allowed to go on. How it works is on an SD card with Rand McNally. Um, there's free updates for life. So I could take that, GP, uh, that SD card out, put it into my uh, computer, go on Rand McNally's site and download, you know, occasionally, probably quarterly, um, the updated maps. So there's no need to continuously buy GPS maps and you know, once you have it, it's good for life. The roads will always be updated on there, okay? So we're gonna stop here and then we're gonna take you to number two. Actually, we're not gonna stop. We're gonna take you, we're gonna roll in right to number two. The second favorite item that we have on our rig is, if you guys watch any of my other videos, um, specifically the one with uh, talking about internet on the road, you're gonna know that we didn't opt for the satellite um, we have a roof mounted antenna, which was uh, came as standard equipment from the factory that will get over the air. 
channels. But so far, we haven't needed that. The reason is why we stream everything, okay? Um, for anybody who doesn't know what streaming is, essentially it's getting TV over our internet connection. In order for this to work, you have to have a good internet connection. So I would suggest that you go back and watch our uh, video. Uh, I believe it's titled Best Mobile Internet on the Road or Fastest Mobile Internet on the Road. I'll put a card on there. So you go, I'll put a link below. So what we use, our main source of, uh, once we're connected, our main source of, of entertainment, we use uh, what's called Roku. They come in different formats. They come a Roku stick. They come like a Roku entertainment center. Uh, we have the Roku stick, uh, the 4K version, I believe. And then in the back, we have the little uh, entertainment center. It was a couple bucks more, but it looks nicer. They both work the same. It's, it's essentially the same thing. So if you wanna, we, we actually have the Roku stick. It's uh, located up in this cabin. I'm not gonna take it out. It's just a USB stick. Actually, not a USB. It's a HDMI stick that plugs into the HDMI port of our little control panel there. And we have it set up right now that's gonna show on the Televator screen. It's gonna show the same uh, programming and it's gonna show on the overhead screen. Now the setup we have here, if we want to have uh, different inputs for different screens, we could do that. In other words, we could be playing one source on one screen, one source on the other screen, but for us, this works best, so we have whatever angle. So I'm gonna quickly show you, very quickly show you how, uh, how this works. It's very easy to set up. You're gonna either plug in your little inter Roku Entertainment Center or your Roku stick into an HDMI port in your TV or in your uh, little control box. It comes with its own remote. Once you set this up, this will control everything. It will control the TV, it will control the Roku stick, your channels, whatever else, okay? So this is kind of like the screensaver default from Roku. I'm just gonna hit okay. And now you see it goes into the home main screen. Now, this is all dependent on what subscriptions you have uh, regarding your streaming services. So we subscribe to uh, YouTube TV. YouTube TV allows up to six users, six different users to use that account. I pay for that, it's $49.99 a month. My sister uh, uses Sling. So I allow her one of my accounts on YouTube TV. She also has options to allow other people uh, to use accounts. So she pays for Sling and I use her account and I pay for YouTube TV and she pays for, uh, and, and she uses my account. We also have another friend that has Netflix. So you kind of get in the, the, uh, the gist of it here. You can pay for one account, but if you have a network of people that you know, you can kind of share each other's accounts and it's completely legal, it's completely legitimate within the rules. So I'm gonna go to YouTube TV. Here's YouTube TV. You also see we have the UFC channel, which we love. And I, also, I pay for ESPN Plus, which is $4.99 a month. So I'm gonna click on that, YouTube TV. Now listen, this is all gonna be dependent on your connection. You have to have a connection where you're gonna have at least four meg download speeds. If you don't have that, you're gonna get a lot of buffering, all right? So I was gonna let you know, like don't expect to just plug this in, it's gonna work magically. So here's YouTube TV. Great thing with YouTube TV, you have unlimited DVR, it's on the cloud. Uh, one of MJ's favorite shows, The King of Queens. So this has been already recorded. I'm gonna click on it. It's gonna spin just to uh, get the connection. Give it a sec. <clears throat> and there it is, there is King of Queens. Now, with YouTube TV also, and this is not a push and advertisement for YouTube TV, this is one other thing I wanna show you. You also have live channels. So that was a recorded channel. I'm gonna go back <clears throat> and you can go live. And there's also a guide. So this is just like your regular Optimum and what other Verizon weather cable you have. These are all our local channels here. You click on it, it'll tell you how much time is left, whatever, you play it, yada, yada, yada. The other cool thing is just like a regular DVR is that once uh, the episode is recorded, you can start it back from the beginning. You can fast forward through commercials. It's great, we freaking love it. Um, if you didn't watch my other video, I'm gonna stress watch it again because the plan we have, we pay $34.99 a month for the internet connection. And last, well, as of this month, we are up to like 600 gigs used. No throttling, no limit, it's the bomb. So our second favorite item, Roku TV or any kind of streaming service, okay?
Hey guys, if you know that's anything better, leave it in the comments because I, I don't pretend to know everything. I'm sure there's something out there that we don't know about. Number three, Nest Cam. So we got a Nest Cam. This is your classic home Nest Cam. These are like, a child could set these up. They're very easy to set up. You, you take them out of the box, you download the, uh, the Nest app on your smartphone. On the back of this, there's a little barcode. You scan that barcode. Then it's gonna ask you, okay, what's your inter internet connection? Again, you, you see the common thing here. Internet is very important. Connect to your internet connection. You set up, you name it what you want and boom, you turn it on and your camera's working. Uh, and you can you can monitor that camera from your smartphone. We have one on the rig. Uh, what this does is will capture essentially the whole the whole rig. Okay. Um, the reason why we have this is twofold. The big reason is because we have two dogs. If you don't already know, uh, Sierra and Bowser, we have two dogs that we like to keep an eye on when we're not on the rig. Not because they're crazy or they're bad, but just we like to see what's going on. All right. So. That's one reason. The second reason, it's a security feature and I set it up in here. So if you close this, I can actually shut that LED light off. I like to have it on so I kind of know when it's recording, but th this is kind of incognito. You're not gonna know that that is recording unless you're, you're looking for it. So put that in there. It's always recording. We have, I believe uh, for Nest, it's uh, $4 a month and you can keep up to seven days on the cloud. You don't have to get that, but when you do get that, it allows you to go back up to seven days to uh, view video, okay? And you get that for a month for free, and then it's $4 a month per camera. We only have one camera on here, okay? Um, so very easy to set up. I just have a, a little two-sided tape on the bottom so it doesn't flop around when we're uh, driving. And the thing has worked great so far. Very easy to use, works flawless. I'm sure there's cheaper ones out there. I went with Nest because Nest is like the Apple of these home cameras. They make all the accessories. They make everything for it and it just freaking works, all right? So we went with Nest. Okay, so if you know anything about me, if you've been watching these videos long enough, you're gonna see why number four, I personally love, okay? Um, I like things neat, I like things clean. A uh, clean house to me and order is a sign of like discipline and for me it works, okay? So anyway, so how do we keep this rig clean? All right, variety of reasons, but specifically the floor. The floor is a big deal, especially when you have dogs. Um, the whole, uh, I guess, theory or thought that dogs with short hair don't shed is a lie, because they do. <laughs> we have two pit bulls that have very short hair and they shed, okay? Not like a German Shepherd, but they shed, especially the white one. So how, do, what do we use? Uh, this is very lightweight. This is kind of a uh, shark uh aka or shark or a dyson knockoff it's called uh musu i got this as a gift i know they have them on amazon they're relatively cheap i think they're under 100 bucks i don't know my brother got this for me i don't know what he paid for it but this thing is freaking awesome it works on just a uh, lithium battery you plug it in on top we keep this in our closet in the back there's a power switch here it has two speeds okay click it once it goes slow click it twice Slow, second time, high speed. If you look underneath, you have the, uh, the brushes that move, okay? And believe it or not, this thing pulls in, like, it, it, this thing really works. Um, and it's very easy to use, very light, no cords. In order to empty the, uh, the vacuum, you press this button, pull it up, and then you hit this button here. Tray drops, you can take the dirt out. There's a filter, you unscrew it. Unscrew this filter, take it out. Knock out the dirt, knock out whatever hair is in there. Close it up, you're good to go. The other thing I like about this, it has a nice uh, attachment for your stairs and to get into tight places. So you get sucked in here. And then one other thing I like is that you can take the bottom off, right? There's a button here. Now, of course it won't work. There you go. Take that off, and if you want to get into like your cargo bays, right? So now you have like a little uh, handheld car vacuum almost. All right. And the most important thing, this is very easy to clean. So guys out there, if you vacuum or if you've ever cleaned your vacuum, what is on the rollers of your vacuum? 
Um, it's more than likely your wife's hair, okay? And when these uh, rollers, this brush is stationary, it's a real B to get the, that hair out. But look at this. You, this is spring loaded here, right? Take, pull that out, lift it up. This whole thing comes out. Then you can take a scissor or blade, cut right through, rip the hair out. I cleaned this prior to going on video. So to put it back, you just do the reverse. Pull the spring loaded, make sure that falls into place like that. And you're good to go. You put everything back together. We've had this now for uh, since March. We use it all the time. When we're not on the rig, we use it at home. The other thing I will tell you, there's LED lights in front of here. So a little secret. If you shut the lights off and you vacuum and these LED lights go on, you see everything, all the dirt that's on the floor and it helps you pick everything up quicker. So just so you know, if you want to vacuum in the dark like I do, you can do that. So in conjunction with that, let's move over here. And what you will see here is a Swiffer mop that we keep in the closet. Okay, this is the Swiffer, I believe this is the wet jet. And basically how this works, this is like super easy mop. They sell these pads, you put the pads on there. I'm not gonna do it because our floor is clean. It's battery operated, here's a cleaning solution. The button here, okay? You put the, uh, the mop almost looks like a, like a big diaper. You push it, it's gonna spray the uh, cleaning solution out and then you just wipe and that diaper is gonna pick up all the dirt or whatever is left over after you vacuum. And it's like super easy. Once it's done, you take that off. It's held by uh, Velcro, you toss it. Super easy, super light. You don't get the smelly uh, classic mop that has to dry and it smells moldy. That's what we carry on here. I might, I'm thinking about maybe upgrading to a central vac system, but I don't know if I wanna take up the cargo space, but so far this has worked great. That is number three. Number three on our favorite items, the broom. Oh yes, sorry. Part of number three still, portable broom. This is made by Camco. This I really use more for sweeping off the roof before we close up our slides. Sweep any leaves off, sweep any dirt. This is made by Camco. It's an RV specific broom. Uh, it's great for the roof. We also use it for the stairs, but look how small it is, right? And then you, Flip it out, turn, turn, and you have your full-size broom here, okay? Very easy to use, these things are cheap. I think they're like, they're less than 20 bucks and they work great. And then when you're done, fold it up and it breaks down right into the dustpan, goes in our closet for storage. So that's all part of number three. Vacuum, Swiffer, broom. Very important, especially at rollers in your slide. You want to make sure your floors are clean before you bring those slides in because those rollers will pick up dirt and they will damage your floor. Okay, so we're going to cut out. MJ is going to come back. She's going to take you for some other items. Uh, we're going to go outside and we'll get back at you shortly. Hey guys, so number five of our favorite items is couch covers. These are expensive um, couches, you know, on these rigs. So we want to make sure that they stay nice. We have two very big, hairy dogs. Two big, hairy dogs, OCD husband, couch covers, okay? I like to be clean too, but Izzy is, you know, insane about it, as he said. Um, these couch covers are fantastic. We got one for, you know, they have um, one on each. So we have one on the couch, one on the love seat over here. Um, they're wonderful because some couch covers, they don't really um, envelop the whole couch. These are huge, they're great. They wrap all the way around. So even if the dogs jump on them, because yes, we do allow them to sit on the couch, and it doesn't pull it off from the back. It's draped all the way down in the back and still with plenty of uh, length in the front. And then the long arm flaps on each side, they're not getting any dirt or hair on these covers, okay? This was one of the greatest things that we've gotten. We got these, the second we bought this motorhome, we bought couch covers. We got these on Amazon. They have all different colors. They're wonderful. One of the, this should have been number one, actually. This is the best thing we ever bought. So if you have pets or kids or whatever, where there can be dirt getting on these beautiful couches, this is a really, really good investment.
Um, so uh, that's number uh, four. Oh yeah, Izzy just reminded me. Um, important thing, easily washable, okay, right? So they get dirt on them. A week after every trip, we're washing them. Take them off. Um, they're not like, you know, some couch covers actually, you know, they wrap around and completely envelop, which is hard to get off. These you just pull right off, throw them in the wash, nice and clean for each trip. So that's really helpful. Um, the next item we're actually going to move now outside of our rig and finish off the list out there. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We're outside now. Um, so the rest of the items are our outdoor, although this next one could be in or out. Um, so number six is the Electo Bug Zapper. Now, I am a huge animal lover. Huge. I would cause harm to no animal, okay? I hate mosquitoes and they need to die. So this, actually this was Jason's Father's Day gift to Izzy. Um, the Electo Bug Zapper, we got it right on Amazon. Um, it's great, battery operated, two AA batteries. It's got a one year warranty on it. Um, the boys have a lot of fun with this. It's sad to say, but this thing works. You know when you open your door, especially at nighttime on a campground, you open that door and the lights are on and it's just like, hello bugs, please join us. Um, so, you know, you go to go to bed and there's just tons of bugs around. So this, it, all you do is simple. You just hold the button and 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 it, it you hear it like a cry. I, I don't enjoy it, but it does work. Izzy's shaking his head. Izzy loves this thing. So does Jason, but it works great. So if you're having problems with the bugs inside, you know, sometimes I see people with fly swatters. That's, it's kind of old school. This is going to work really well for you. So that's number six. Guys, we're back with number seven. It is a folding barbecue table from GCI Outdoor. I got this as a gift from my brother. I don't know where he got it from, but if there's a link on Amazon, I will put it. If not, I will find it, whatever link he got it from, and put it for you. So this is how it folds up. Basically, almost the size of a folding chair. But I'm gonna do a live demonstration on how to, uh, how to open this up. It's very, very easy, okay? so. There's no tools necessary, no assembly necessary. You're gonna open it up, push down. Okay, I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see. We're gonna have the bottom shelf is gonna come up. Top shelf's gonna come up. There's these tabs you wanna click. Click on each side. All right, on the bottom, click and click. I'll turn it around for you. All right. Same thing on this side. Bring it up, click, click. Click, click, and then the final thing you're gonna do, this comes up, left side goes on the bottom, you can see there's some tabs here. All right, and then one, two, one, two, and you are done, voila. It's pretty sturdy. You have cup holders here. You got a nice uh, mesh fencing on the bottom. You got your top here, and then you even have a little place to put your uh, paper towel rolls, which just snapped out, but that's okay. It just goes right back in. Put your paper towel rolls there. This thing is awesome. Very sturdy, like I said. It's gonna break down. You're gonna do the exact reverse of what I just did. It'll break down, nice and compact. It's light, it's a lightweight plastic. It is easy to clean up. Awesome, number seven. Barbecue table from GCI Outdoor. Number eight, and I don't think it really needs much of an introduction. If you have any, if you're not uh, two weeks into RVing, you probably didn't know about this. If you go on the forums, it's the Blackstone Grill, Griddle. We got the 17 inch one for us. We don't need anything bigger. I think they make these things up to 30 inches. This was 80 bucks on Amazon. They sell them on Walmart. They sell them all over the place. Thing is friggin' awesome. We had this since our trailer days. I got the carrying case. I got the cover. It's still under. 150 bucks 120 dollars or so right so this is how we're going to travel with it in uh, all covered up quick demonstration i'm going to put it on my gci outdoor table all right so cover carrying cover regular cover you're going to take out this is how easy this is this is why people love this thing okay out all right this is going to flip over this is cast iron you can see this one's a uh and then it's gonna come with your little uh, teppanyaki tools. You keep them stored inside. You got your regulator for your propane. 
This flips over, goes on here, okay? You got your grease collector over here. It's gonna pour down whatever grease. Make sure this is level. We're not really on level ground right now because we're at home. Very easy, you're gonna put your propane regulator. Now, mind you, they sell kits for this. If you have a propane line coming on your rig um, that you wanna feed off your regular propane line, they do actually sell uh, adapter kits where you can run your uh, onboard propane line. If you have a 30 or 40 pound tank, you could do that. You're simply just gonna screw your propane in. It's an old tank. Let's make sure this catches a thread. There we go. Oh, come on, don't give me a hard time. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little time to get that. All right, you wanna put that over? Very simple. You're gonna hit, you're gonna turn it on high, get the propane flowing, and there you go, it's on. It's got a click start, very easy. This thing gets really hot, really quick, and it works really awesome. Two nice stainless steel spatulas. You got your uh, scraping spatula so you can clean everything else. Just a word of wise, word of wisdom. When you're done, make sure you, you, you kind of, uh, what they call season it, put a little oil on there, rub it in. That way it doesn't get rusty like ours is starting to get. We're gonna have to scrape that up and clean it. So that is number eight, Blackstone Griddle. We have the 17 inch, links will be on the bottom, number eight. All right, I'm back. We're on number nine. Number nine is our, our uh, chairs that we sit in outside. So this is an Ozark Trail oversized plush chair. Now we were sitting originally in some, uh, they were okay chairs and then our awesome friends Nikki and Don came camping with us once and they pulled these things out. I said, Jesus, I need that. So we went on Amazon and bought them immediately. They, were, they weren't that expensive. Um, so I'm just gonna show you how easy they are to quick up, uh, pick set up. It's great, they have these bags, you know, the carrying bag, um, which has a carrying handle, which is awesome. Okay, they have a little Velcro strap, which keeps everything together. You're just gonna unroll it as such. Okay, then they just pop open like that. Super easy. Okay, you've got two longer uh, openings that are going to, each one goes on the back like this. And then the front slots right here. You've got a cup holder, uh, another whatever holder you'd like. They're super comfortable. You could actually take a nap in these. Okay, really comfortable. Um, I would highly recommend them, okay? You can pull your legs up. The dogs love Sierra, our pity. She loves climbing up here and sitting with me in this. So definitely an awesome item, one of our favorites. Okay, so that's number nine. Number 10 is going to be what we place, um, you know, the grill table, um, maybe. Actually, sometimes we have that off. We put our chairs and a lot of other things on is our lawn mat, all right? A lot of people have lawn mats. Um, this is a very simple one we just got at Walmart, I believe. You can get them on Amazon. Super easy to unravel, okay? It's gonna open up, it's quite large, okay? And then the other side. I'll just open this up. Now, I love this. Izzy loves it too. The only thing Izzy doesn't like is having to clean it after. Because it gets grass and it gets, you know, stuff on it that Izzy can't get rid of. So if there's any dirt that Izzy can't get rid of is a problem. But it's nice and large. And we can get a night, everything set up on here. You know, the, the table, we're eating, our chairs. It's really awesome. And then everything's not getting dirty. The mat is, but we deal with that after. So this is, um, like I said, you can get these um, Walmart, Amazon. They'll have them pretty um, inexpensive. So that's number 10, our lawn mat. Okay, number 11 um, for uh, the picnic tables, you know, when you get to your campsite. Um, some people will use it without a table cover. We like to have a, a table cover on ours. Um, I, I found this 
on Amazon and I loved it. And we've actually had people come up to our campsite and say, oh my God, where did you get that? It's really, really cool. Um, it's from Home Crate, all right? It is your typical, you know, your, your red and white uh, checkered um, picnic table cover. But what's cool about it is it comes with, this is my favorite part, it comes with two uh, bench covers as well, all right? Um, that wrap right around the benches. So, you know, you don't have to sit in bird crap or, or anything else that get, gets on those benches. You put these, they wrap right around the benches. They fit in every campground we've been in. Um, so they keep your, uh, your booty nice and clean. Um, also too, what I like about the table cover is it also has this um, around the edges, okay? So you're not fighting with the wind, trying to keep the table cover down. You're not putting, you know, clothes pins or whatever this fits you know the cover fits right around the table and keeps it down so you're not um the, the weather won't affect that if it's windy or whatever you're not going to have a flyaway table cover so that's number 11 home crate picnic table cover guys last but not least number 12 is going to be an exterior cargo carrier uh, this is going to be hitch mounted um, we've had this for numerous years even before we had we were rving we used to put on our pickup or on uh, mj's car um, just a word of advice, if you have a ladder that's um, attached to your RV, you might want to get some kind of hitch extension. Um, that's just your classic hitch extension that you can get anywhere. I got that at uh, Harbor Freight. It's like less than 20 bucks. It's just going to push this carrier away from the body, which is what you want. Um, so this is a pretty lightweight. I believe it's aluminum. It's like, it has a powder coating on it. Uh, this is in the, the actual travel mode where the walls are up. You would put your cargo in there and then you would just strap down whatever you're gonna have. And I'm just gonna show you how it breaks down real quick. At least, not all of it, but how you do it. You pull out these cotter pins. It's a pin there. There's one in each corner, okay? This is gonna be two on the, on the other side. So basically, it's just gonna fold down like that. When you pull out those other two pins, that's gonna fold down and then these two sides are gonna fold on each other. And it's gonna break down flat. Set it up, you do the reverse. Put the pin in, stick the cottage pin through. It'll be set up. This thing has worked great. We have thousands of miles on this with no issue. There's just one other thing I want to show you. Uh, it just has the reflective tape on the back, which is kind of cool. And actually the company is Ericsson. Ericsson Manufacturing out of Ontario. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, these are not items that you have to have or that you should have. These are items that we love, our favorite items. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We thank you time. We thank you guys for uh, watching, taking out the time out of your busy schedule. Again, if you haven't been following us, the uh, channel is growing at a rapid rate. We are approaching 1,100 subscribers. Um, and this is less than three months. The 29th of September will be three months. Um, so we're, we've grown more than we ever thought we would grow. When we first started this channel, we thought maybe, you know, within two years, we'd have a thousand subscribers, but three months it's happening. Um, people are telling us we're pulling out good content, but it doesn't matter what content we put out, you guys are not watching it. So we, again, we're very grateful. We thank you guys. If you like the video you've seen, we're gonna ask you just please click on the like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, thumbs up also, this video we're going to have our amazon affiliate links uh, if you guys don't know how it works basically we have an amazon store whatever we put on here there'll be links if you click on that link and you purchase that item it doesn't cost you anything else more it just throws us a couple of cents small commission and believe me it's a small commission um, it's just going to help us grow the channel okay if you find it somewhere else cheaper buy it somewhere else cheaper that's what we're all about so for myself from nj mj who was in this video a lot. We're going to thank you guys. We hope to see you guys on the road.